Here on ResTube, we do more than just unboxing. More than just residence-related recipes. More than residential horoscopes. I can see your future. It says you gonna be obscure. We do love. That's right, everybody. And who better to start showing love to than the record label and the people that started me on becoming the proud nerd that I am? Psychophone Records. Psychophone Records. Psychophone Records. I thought long and hard about what release to do first. The first one I got. The rarest one I have. There's 30 of you, and there's 30 of you. There's 30 of you, and there's 30 of you. Which one is rarer? What about this one? Hey, this ain't a residence. That's Alvin Snow. Or the most recent one. Metal, meat, and bone. M metal, meat, and bone. Metal, meat, and bone. Metal, meat, and bone. I get it. The more I thought about it, the more it became clear. Hey. This is about love. And where did my res love start? It started with a man in a Santa Claus coat. When did I start to fall for that southern draw? You came along and won my heart and then they crushed it all. Oh, Randy, you came and you left balls a shaking when they sent you away. Oh, Randy. I love all the videos you're making, but it's just not the same. Oh, Sorry, but when you're raised by a musician, it leaves a mark. Anyway, let's get to the release. Bigfoot Beware by Randy Rose on Psychophone Records. This is the only release by Randy Rose, who was the residence lead singer between 2010's Talking Light Tour until the end of Shadowland in 2016. Live footage of the 2013 Wonder of Weird Tour can be seen in Don Hardy's documentary Theory of Obscurity, which I highly recommend. There are also two video series on YouTube that are dedicated to the ramblings of Randy Rose, In My Room and Randyland the latter supplying the backstory to this release starting in episode 32. The Psychophone catalog number for all these releases is PR005. It was their fifth release. All of them were released between April and July of 2016. That was before I discovered the realm of the res, and so I'm very happy that I was recently able to complete my collection. So, let's get a look at these Bigfoots. Big feats? Let's see all them Sasquatches. There are two different black versions of Bigfoot Beware. And this would be the regular one, limited to 200 vinyl copies. Sorry for the glare. And there was another black one that was limited to 100 copies and really just sold on a U.S. tour. So I'm very, very fortunate to have this because I'm not in the States. Aside from the black ones, there are these two, in green and in orange. Not going to open these. I don't think I ever have, so if you want to know what they look like, you're just going to have to look online. Of course, any release needs a test pressing, and this is a double-sided test pressing, as you can see right down there. There were not just releases on vinyl, though. Nope, this also came as a mini CD, and there it is. Randy Rose. We can take a look at this one because, as you can see here, there is also a very, very nice rendition of Bigfoot on it. This is identical, completely identical, all the way down to the back. And on the back, and on the back, we can see a picture of Randy Rose with his trusted feline friend, Maurice also known as Big Mo. While we're at it, I guess I should explain a little bit about the tracks. There's only two, so that's gonna be easy. Side A, or track one on the CDs, is Bigfoot Beware, which tells the story of Randy finally wanting to get revenge on Bigfoot after he killed his dog Skippy years and years ago after Randy graduated from college. College? College. 
On side two, you'll find the track Big Mo, which is dedicated to Maurice after he sadly passed away. There was also, as is typically Psychophone, a limited edition version of the mini disc. The contents itself should be exactly the same. I don't think this is numbered. I may be mistaken. No, it's not. And I can feel there's something else in here. Ooh, and there it is. And that is what they called a mini postcard of Randy Rose. And when I say mini postcard, I mean mini postcard. Hmm? So if you have a stamp that size, it'll fit on here. I was very, very fortunate to actually get one of these. Not sure how many of these there were, but as you can see, it is stamped promo, not for sale. Now, you probably already know that I don't really like opening records, but when I was checking this, I noticed that I have this. It was in a sleeve without a sticker, and so I had to check. And as you're gonna see here, this is not a typical record sleeve. This is actually openable. Is that a word in English? I hope so. Andy explained that to me once. It's a bit before my time, the whole concept. Back in the day, you could find a lot of 45s that came in a card-like sleeve. And on here, you can see side A and side B. You might be thinking, okay, so that's got to be it, right? Especially if you don't know the residents yet and how they like to release different versions of the same thing over and over. But nope, that's not it. Nope, we're going to get to the real good stuff now. There was also a real nice Die Hard edition of Bigfoot Beware. And this is mine. And this is the one that I had been looking for for a long, long time. That is, ever since I got into Res, ever since I got into Randy Rose, I have been looking, searching far and wide for this, and I was very, very fortunate to finally find someone who was willing to sell me their copy. And this set contains a, another postcard, which is a picture of Randy's mother, as he told us in episode 32 of Randy Land, and of his dog Skippy. Oh, sorry, Sniffy. But there's more cool stuff. This came in a camouflage print mesh bag with a Bigfoot Beware see-through plastic tag. Now, unlike the ones we've seen up till now, this is actually a single-sided release, meaning only Bigfoot is on this one, and also something kind of typically Andreas. This is actually a one-sided disc. Yeah, as you can see, the grooves are here on side A, and side B just has this mighty cool Bigfoot footprint. Now, if you wanted to be really, really pedantic about this, not that I'm trying to be, in the story of Randy Land, he says from the get-go that he is looking for experts on the three-toed Bigfoot, which I don't think even exists. Not that Bigfoot really exists. What do I know? But if you wanted to get real, real, real pedantic about it, I guess that's something that you could fault someone for. But nonetheless, when I got this, ladies and gentlemen, I was totally, totally floored. This was great to have. So back into the sleeve it goes. And the last thing that was in this set is very special to have. It's real Bigfoot hair. Ooh. And as you can see on the back of this, it's numbered. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So this is number 19 of 50. Isn't that cool? Gotta love it. Now I'm sure you're thinking that's gotta be it, right? Wrong. Because not only was there a single-sided 45, 
of Bigfoot Beware, there is also a single-sided 45 of Four Maurice. And this is it, guys and dolls. Here we have Bye Bye Big Mo. And as it says on the back, Four Maurice. So you might already be thinking, okay, so what's so special about this? For me, this is actually very, very special because I actually got this the day that I met Andreas for the first time. I haven't mentioned yet, but Psychophone is actually a two-man operation run by him and his partner Tina. And to think of all the creativity, the time, work, love for details that he puts into this, it is just unfathomable, really, when you come down to it. And like the diehard Bigfoot, this was also limited to 50 pieces. And also like the Bigfoot, this is just one-sided. That is, there is the song for Maurice, which is totally cool, by the way. And on the other side, you might be able to see etchings. On this side, there are nine etchings of Big Mo, because in English, a cat has nine lives. I say it that way because in German it's only seven. So I guess the German cat's got a rough deal on that one. And here we also have a postcard that also has four Maurice on the back. And the sleeve itself says, oh no, which of course rhymes wonderfully with Big Mo. Now, if you don't know this release, I know what you're thinking. Okay, that's got to be it, right? Wrong! Because Andreas would not be Andreas, and Psychophone would not be Psychophone if there wasn't even more to this story. Oh, I totally forgot. Along with the Big Mo package came this real, real nice magnet. Glare is giving me a hard time today. You might have noticed in my last two videos that I tried to wear according res apparel. That is, I was wearing baby fingers, baby fingers, baby fingers for the unboxing of Tourniquet of Roses, and I was wearing a Mr. Blue eyeball shirt when I opened Bob Uck in the family truck. So why am I wearing Santa Dog, right? Well, for one thing, this is a Psychophone Records shirt, which is totally cool, and I wish I had gotten two in two sizes, one for me, one for Jules, but hey, spilt milk. But was there no shirt? that coincided with this series? There actually was a shirt that went along with this series. It came in black and in gray. Sadly, I do not have a gray one. I really wish I did. If you've got one for me, hit me up in the comments. But I do have a black one. So why aren't I wearing it? Because, as I was saying, we're not really done yet. Oh, I just love these. Okay. To say it right off the top, we're only going to look into one of these, which doesn't really matter because the contents are the exact same. This is the Bigfoot Expedition Edition. And as you can see over here, there's uh, something gone a little awry, you could say, with that spelling, I believe. I mean, my English is rusty and all, but... I, I don't remember writing Expedition that way. Well, whatever. We've met a few characters, thanks to the residents, whose spelling is not exactly up to snuff. So, we'll turn a blind eye to that one. This edition, as you just saw, came in two different bags. One black, one camo. I believe the same could be said about that die-hard, one-sided Bigfoot which to a nerd like me means if that's true, I'm still missing one of these things. But I do have this, because aside from black, orange, and green vinyl, this also appeared on red vinyl. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the kit. And as you can see, it's never been opened. It is numbered here on the back. Mine is 93 of 100. And I want to say, okay, 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 okay. We'll look, because I want to say that all of these are the same. I was wrong. Uh, 
But I can tell by the numbers here that 1 is 84 and 1 is 93. And so this was limited to an addition of 100. Uh, and I was about to say, I think the first 50 came in that or that, but no, I don't think so. I'm not opening this, but you can see the contents. There's a little flashlight there, also by Psychophone Records. And it comes with this really, really cool picture of Randy looking somewhat like a mop person. Of course, that's his camo to go Bigfoot hunting. And as I was saying, there were two t-shirts. And I do have the black one. Maybe I should open this. Will Danny Riggs actually open this shirt? Can he bring himself to puncture the plastic and release the Randy Rose shirt from its possibly permanent imprisonment? Why am I doing this voice? Does anybody out there really think I went out and hired someone to do this voiceover? Stay tuned to find out. One more release to show you guys is this, which is, unlike the test pressing you've already seen, just a single-sided test pressing. Well, guys, then I think that's about it for now. So I guess that's the end of this video. And if you don't know by now, I'm Danny Riggs. You're on YouTube. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit that like button, subscribe, post comments, give me more ideas. You can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. And as always, you guys stay healthy and stay weird. Bye-bye now. <laughs> you guys thought I was really going to open it, didn't you? You guys are so silly. Okay. Uh, 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 uh.